Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful Ohio day? So, it is beautiful, but there is still a little light mist in the air. I don't want to say it's raining, but we've got a pretty good chance of one. But here at Schleybach Engines in Apple Creek, Ohio. Make sure if you guys are in this area, or you don't even have to be in this area anymore. There's folks driving from many, many states away. Come check this place out. I guarantee if they don't have something you're looking for, Toro brand-wise, steel brand-wise, probably not going to be able to find it anywhere else. So let's go ahead and take a walk in here real quick. Picked up something new. I'm going to give it a go. So been seeing some of the guys down south using these, the lawn tools on Instagram. Really cool guy. I met him up at Toro last year. Uh, he used one. Now, I've been asked before, and I've been very skeptical for the simple fact up here, our grass types are different. You know, we have Kentucky bluegrass, uh, tall fescue, just uh, we get extreme growth. So I paid it forward, guys. This thing was not cheap, 400 bucks, $399. But I wanna see if it'll do here in the north what it's doing for you guys down in the south. And I'll give you an honest review on it and let you know. All right, guys, back at home. Gonna go ahead and use this on my own house before we go to a customer's property potentially and jack it up so i'm just joking i'm assuming it's probably gonna work okay i don't know how this cover comes off but i'm gonna figure it out i guess what am i missing here tq it's got the button right here you push i thought it just opened up yeah Ooh. be careful about that All right got a good little case to store it in i guess let me put my headset on and I'm gonna give this baby a go. We'll start with some trimming. And then what I'm curious is, how will it flip it? So, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Pretty gnarly looking. Let's find out. Follow me, TQ. I'll just start right here on the edge of the bed. trimmer line going counterclockwise that was going the other way because of the way the teeth spin so pushing it out I should have just went up this way like right here worked a lot better. I think I could get used to it. It would just take some time. Let's see what it does with an edge. I'm trying to think of the way it's spinning. So there's two blades there and it looks like they each spin different directions. I'm going to try to go forward first.
gonna try it backwards real quick to see how it does. Other than my one spot I messed up right here. It's grass, it will grow back. It's just grass, it'll grow back. That's what I said. It does a nice little taper. I like that. I like cool stuff, and this is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I wanna try it on this little bed over here where I pulled the rocks away by hand the other day. Not a perfect bed, but I wanna try it over here real fast. impression I don't think I'll be replacing my trimmer line and trimmer with it with that being said if you notice like it cuts this stuff off and leaves it in like really long long strands uh, compared to trimmer line would dice this up like real fine almost uh, I don't think you get as clean of a cut but I think this definitely has a purpose and say maybe uh around like ponds and stuff. I actually believe that's what it's used for in wet water, uh, around pond areas and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I definitely think it has a purpose. I don't think it's everyday trimming and edging. 
uh, but will it do it? Absolutely. But with that being said, I, uh, I think I'm gonna hold on to it and use it on some of our brush clearing that we got coming up, this big brush clearing job. And uh, we're actually gonna check that out here in one second. So uh, yeah, they just called about it. What do you think, TQ? I will say you don't get that sling back. You yeah. don't get dirty at all yeah, from the grass kicking back at you from a trimmer. Right. But Zero. Looks pretty, it's cool. It so, is cool. I don't think, I could be wrong, but I don't think it's spinning completely. I think it's just like... Like scissors, know? kind of. Like a hedge trimmer, yeah. So I think it's just going... Because I noticed when I was going right to left, it wanted to dig. But when I was going left to right, it wanted to glide smooth. So, yeah, first impressions, very cool. Uh, definitely probably something I would rent first before I went and dropped 400 bucks on it. Uh, but, you know, we'll use it here at Spencer Lawn Care. And we're always, you know, trying new things out to uh, let you guys know our honest opinions on them. This video is not sponsored in any way. We paid for this ourselves with our hard-earned money. And, uh, yeah, you'll see more of this on the channel for sure. I think it's definitely worth keeping around. Absolutely. If you had, like, cattails, something like that. Neighbors coming by with a John Deere. If you had cattails, which actually over at the property, TQ, we got some cattails. We do. Down there in that swampy area. We do. And, uh, yeah, or some ponds or something, definitely be uh, an option for sure. So, let's go. All right, back here at the big commercial property for the second time this week. It is currently Friday as you guys are watching this, and we were here last um, Monday, Memorial Day, when I fixed the flag. And uh, simply, guys, we were unable to gain access inside of the fence area, so we had to come back to take care of that. And we're just going to go ahead and maintenance the entire property while we're here because, to be honest with you, as fast as things are growing right now in our area, it needs mowed again. So we're going to go ahead and hop in here and get things done. TQ looking absolutely lovely this morning. Hi, TQ. Yeah, you. I'm <laughs> just messing with you guys. Let's get to it. Right, guys so if you remember this big old pass all the way around this place Mike and Rick came out last year uh, my dad we had a ton of people here Savannah and uh, Tyler was with us at that point and we did this huge trim job all the way around this place cut down a ton of trees literally this job probably took us a total of almost a week I mean it was humongous and uh, we got it all cleared away well, now it's maintenance time, okay? So not as in-depth as last year, but what we do need to do is get them a price worked up so that we can trim the inside of this fence all the way around. There's a big hill here out front, and then just clean up the fence line all the way around the back. So what I need to do real fast is drive out back and find out how bad it is back there. So we keep this maintained on a weekly basis.
and you can see how tall it would be if we weren't doing that so let's run back here and take a quick look so all of this is unaccessible with a mower so all of this has to be trimmed out it's pretty much just a straight drop off and this entire place is built on boulders like big rock okay so here's a lot of what we cut down last year and this goes all the way up through here this thing was as tall as this out to here okay we took full trees down it was insane <clears throat> so this area here has to be completely trimmed out it's like slag rock and just uh you can see a big rock sticking out there this is not where you're going to want to put a mower you'll be stuck like chuck and uh just won't be good so we cut all of our tree stumps off really low so that we were able to maintain this on a weekly basis at least keep a couple mower passes back and then all we have to do is come in and trim the fence line and then the sides that we're unable to uh with the mower so huge huge job we did here last year and uh now it's just maintenance all right guys so i'm back here to the back side of the property and for you longtime subscribers you'll remember this used to be a huge field right here where all these trucks are parked now and then there was some parking here and it kind of just dropped off like a cliff right about in here and uh so now we used to be able to mow most of this i think now we're gonna have to trim all of this because this just drops off and i don't believe we'll be able to keep a mower over there or if you did you wouldn't want to slide into the back of one of those potentially uh this would not be good so i'm going to continue around here i don't think i'll bring you guys with the whole thing but basically it goes all the way around this entire thing so yeah whenever i did the measurement a long time ago this actually came out to like almost three and a half miles going inside and outside trimming so all the way down all the way out around those woods out around the property back around it's a lot plain and simple <laughs> Lathan uh, is experiencing his first, uh, what do we want to call this? Flag experience? They're everywhere. He figured out quickly though, as long as the marks are there. Pop them out real quick, put them right back dead center. You like those flags, Lathan? No? They're easy to trim around.
getting it. All right, guys, so we beat the fur guy here today. He's had to wait a little bit, but not too long, maybe about 10, 15 minutes. But a little more maintenance up there. Lathan's blowing off and we'll be on out of here. So pretty cool little setup here the FERT guys use. So what they do is they load their skid of FERT, whatever they're gonna apply into the van first and then they access it from the side door and then they put the machine right up into the back with just a couple of ramps that they uh, fold out and put right there onto the bumper. So pretty unique, compact, no trailer. He's got his hose, everything right there on the side. It's good to go. All right, <clears throat> real quick pit stop here at home, about a half day. Uh, we had to drop Lathan off. He's got an appointment, he's got to make it too. So not a big deal there. And then uh, I'm just waiting on TQ. I need more coffee, <laughs> need more coffee, my coffee cup's empty. Anyways, just waiting on TQ real quick to use the restroom and then we're gonna get back out here and get to it. All right, quick little lunch break, refueled break, I guess you could call it. What you having for lunch, TQ? West protein chips. We uh we buy these all the time. They come in multiple flavors. They're really good, not sponsored in any way or anything. But uh these ones here are not my favorite. They the taste of them are it just kind of gets old real quick. But they have a ranch flavored and a nacho flavored, and those are good. I really like the nacho flavored one. And then they, they have another one too, don't they? What's the other these one? These are the chili lime, which are one of my favorites, and then they have a um sweet something or other. No, they have a barbecue one. Barbecue, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. We pick them up at GNC in a box. Like, what is there? Eight pack for 20 bucks or something. Roughly. But they're a healthier snack option to uh, stay on track. Yes. Get our protein in. Stay healthy. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys. Another day done. I am sweaty and soaked. But good productive day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye.